Welcome back to Welcome Home. I'm Rachel Holder with Compass Real Estate, and we are back in the studio with Justin Peake of Peak Pools and Spas. Thank you so much for being here today. No problem. So you are a custom pool builder, which I want That's to talk right. about. Sure. But folks may recognize you from a show yes. <laughs> called Pool Kings. Yes, ma'am. I understand you just wrapped tape in your third season. We did. A very popular show. It so was. I want to hear about the experience of the show. I also want to hear, how does that happen? You're out designing and building these beautiful pools one day and somebody says, hey, we wanted to put it on TV? Pretty much. I mean, that's pretty much how it happened. They just kind of cold called us, and we thought, you know, as with anything, that it was a scam. You know, right. you know I've got lots of rich Nigerian uncles that want to send me $8 million if I just send them my bank account. Don't but, we all? <laughs> so we kind of ignored it for a while, and then finally they called us one day when we were actually at the office and answered and kind of entertained it, and we did a pilot show from there, and it really kind of took off. It was a really popular show for us, but, you know. There's a lot that goes into filming them. Absolutely. Well, tell me what that experience has, has been like, because here you are trying to run a business that's busier than ever and, yeah. and shoot this show, too. It it was a really hard to deal with juggling act, because mm -hmm. not only are we trying to film this show and we're traveling across the nation trying to build all these beautiful pools, I actually have a business here in Middle Tennessee that I have to try and run. There's only so many of us. It's a family-run business, so it's really hard for us to juggle between filming everything and actually being on the jobs that I'm getting paid for here in Middle Tennessee to build those. So, you know, it was a fun experience. I think mm -hmm. it really brought us a lot of exposure nationwide yeah. and kind of showed what we could do to everyone at home. But, you know, it was, it was you know, a little bit of a challenge to go through and do. We're kind of glad that it's wrapped and over with. Right. But, you know, it was a fun experience. It's not something everybody gets to do. And it was, you know, it was very enjoyable. Well, very cool that Thank you got to do that. And we love that you got to do it. And, and you're based right here in Middle Tennessee <laughs> yeah, as absolutely. well. absolutely. So then COVID hits, right? Mm -hmm. So you're trying to do the show. You're busier than ever. And then all of a sudden people are sheltering at home. Yep. So I would think that added another level of, hey, we want a pool in our backyard right it now. It did. We weren't sure when it first happened in March, you know, everybody froze. You know, the, mm -hmm. the phones quit you know, ringing and everybody knew, didn't have any idea, you know, what's going to happen. Right. And then all of a sudden people go, okay, well, we still have a life. We're going to live it. Uh -huh. We probably aren't going to go on vacation this year. So let's put something in our backyard that we can enjoy and use now so that no matter what's going on in the world, we can still enjoy and have a vacation even if we just stay at home. That's got to be rewarding. It is. We have been very, very busy this year because of that. Tell me, we're seeing some some gorgeous pools mm -hmm. on, on the screen that you've done. Um, tell me a little bit about exactly what you do. I know it's custom design. Yep. You said you do two different kind of pools, yep. lots of different features. Walk me through that. So basically, there's three different types of pools. There's your vinyl liners, there's your fiberglass, and then there's your custom gunite pools. Mm -hmm. We specialize in gunite pools. That's where we really got started, and that's what we really enjoy doing mm -hmm. the most. We have started to offer fiberglass pools as well so that we can get in that little bit cheaper budget area, you know, where it's more affordable for more right. people so that we can still serve as many people as we can that can't afford to go crazy and, you know, all with all these outlandish, you know, backyard resorts like we're used to building. Right. So we're trying to serve more people and, you know, it's just a, it's a really good entry pool into not having to, you know, invest as much as what you would have to spend on a house on some of these pools because they get a little bit crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's good to know. Well, and, and speaking of crazy, tell mm -hmm. me about some of your favorites, the outlandish and some of your crazy features that you've done and that you enjoy doing. Right. Some of my most favorite pools that we've actually built were the most difficult and challenging ones. So mm -hmm. that when you finally got done with them, you're like, oh, thank God that's finally done with. But you look back at what you had to do and all of the challenges that you had to overcome to make the pool. So when you actually see it done, you know, not a lot of people appreciate it. They go, oh, that's beautiful. We love what you did. But Lord, they don't know how some of them I feel like were built on, you know, cursed burial grounds or something because <laughs> we had so many issues. But, you know, uh, really everything has more shifted to any more moving your entertaining space outdoors. Right. So a lot of people, you know, back in the day you would cook and have everybody over and entertain them inside your house, but now you're really moving more of that stuff outdoors. So we're building That's a lot right. of outdoor living spaces mm -hmm. where people are cooking, they're entertaining, they have the TVs, they have fireplaces, they have fire features on these pools to where even if it's, say, January and it's cold and chilly out, it's still to where you have a fireplace out there and it's enjoyable where you can actually try and go out you know all times of year and actually enjoy these spaces and you keep so many people from having to be in the house especially right now that's really important sure have some open space have the ability to entertain people but still be able to spread out and you know bringing these outdoor elements uh, <laughs> bringing these indoor elements really outdoor yeah. really helps a ton and it gives you some more usable area in your backyard where you know before 
you really had to have reason to go outside, yeah. especially when it's 90 degrees outside. Oh, absolutely. If you create a space where you're giving people a reason to be out there, you're just being able to enjoy that much more of your house. Well, I love that. And, and speaking of enjoying, we want to enjoy it safely right now. Absolutely. And so one question back to COVID, because mm -hmm. I thought this was so interesting. You talked about you need to take some extra precaution mm -hmm. with pool maintenance. Absolutely. A lot of people think that just because, well, my pool looks clear mm -hmm. and, you know, as far as I know, it's good to go. You really need to, especially with COVID right now, the CDC is recommending that you test your water regularly okay. and make sure that you have the proper amounts of chlorine or whatever, uh, you know, um, disinfectant that you're using mm -hmm. to uh, maintain your pool. So it's important to really be on top of that or hire a, you know, a knowledgeable uh, service company that goes out and will clean it and keep on top of it because as, as long as everything's well maintained, if somebody does get in there that's sick, they say that it will take care of it and kill it mm -hmm. off. But if, you know, if you don't have enough chlorine in your pool, it could hang around for a little while and somebody else could catch it. So it's very important okay. to keep up with that right now. Great advice. Thank you so much no for problem. being here. We're out of time already. Thank you all for watching. As always, I hope you found some helpful information you can use in today's episode, be sure to mark your calendar for next month's episode on September 4th. We'll be touring a gorgeous custom-built home, plus a Nashville auctioneer and a chocolatier, too. Between now and then, if there's anything at all I can do to help you with, please reach out at rachelholderhomes.com. See you next time.